So this week we're holding our second Building Bridges session between the European Society of Human Genetics and the American Society of Human Genetics. And ours this year is entitled Barriers and Drivers for the Implementation of Clinical Sequencing. So it sprung out of the European Society of Human Genetics meeting in June in Glasgow. There was a discussion that they had about should geneticists get their genome sequenced. And it was really interesting to me that the public opinion um, was very different in the EU versus the US. I thought the most interesting uh, thing that I, uh, that I saw in that symposium was out of all of these experts in clinical genetics, none of them have had their own genome sequenced. So a lot of the discussion is coming from is maybe more theoretical. So that in, in part sparks the development of this session. We also feel that there are different regulation in the EU and the US, which is very different and that's something that we need to understand if we as a group, a community of human geneticists are going to keep working to put clinical sequencing in place. Everyone's on the same page about the fact that testing is complicated. There are a lot of issues to think about um, in terms of regulation, but also in terms of interpreting results and how we should go about doing that and all being on the same page of interpreting results because ultimately affects what goes back to the patient. So some of the barriers that we've seen to the implementation of clinical sequencing are just retraining people to get things into the clinic. They are in terms of privacy issues surrounding data. They are how much data we are able to give back to patients, that kind of thing. Um, and then as well, we have lots of variants that we're seeing in the genome that we don't quite know what they mean yet. So that's a huge effort that we're all working on. The drivers as far as clinical sequencing are uh, the promise that we're able to, we, we've seen a number of cases where there are families that have um, children, for example, with conditions that they can't explain, and we're able to do sequencing and find mutations that help them pick new therapies or tailor the therapies they're using. So I think there's a lot of promise behind that, and we're all, that's why we got into human genetics, is to help people, so we're all very interested in that. What I hope attendees gain from attending the Building Bridges session is uh, first listening to people who are doing regulation. We have the Minister of Health for Cyprus, one of the people that's coming, so he'll talk about how things are in the EU. I hope they gain a more international perspective so we can think about this issue holistically and work better together as a community.